Good morning, all. Ooh, let's see, Jules. That's an interesting picture of deer. Is that out your window or from a piece of artwork? Good morning. That was in a friend's yard last November. Okay, where, where are you, where are, where's your friend live or where do you live? Um, they live in Tennessee and they're a hunter. <laughs> Oh, so those deer aren't there any longer. <laughs> well, I love it when they send me the Bambi pictures because I'm not a hunter. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you, I see your name on your on the screen as Jules, but it sounds like you may be not Jules. Yeah, I'm Jules. Oh, Jules. Okay. Yeah. Um, Start. I always think of that as a. There you go. See, I'm usually in in transition from chair to what I call my yoga table. Okay. And and so it's just better for you guys not to have to see all that business. <laughs> but I get out of my power chair and sit on this uh, coffee table that I've turned into a yoga. Table. Oh. And okay. It, my blocks and blanket and straps and everything I might need accessible, but love your class. I'm sorry, thank I'm you. the regular. Thank you, it's great to see you all. And thanks okay. for doing it for us. Well, I, I enjoy it too. And I wish we, this was, thank goodness for Zoom because all of us can sign in from all over. Um, I do miss my in-person classes. I do have one that's just uh, restarted in the last couple of months. But um, I am happy to be here and I'm thank you for that nice feedback. So we will get started in a few moments. My clock says 925. So that's interesting to use a table. I hope your feet, I assume your feet touch down on the floor in front of you. It's low enough that you're able to make sense. Yes. It's one of those old fashioned, big, too big for the room coffee tables. Okay. And the feet go to the floor. And actually it was Emory University neurological um, DPT that told me to get out of the chair because it would be better for my core strengthening to be on the table where I didn't have all the, the supports slash strengths of the wheelchair. And it wasn't easy at first, but with ongoing now through different CPT, I'm getting really much stronger at being on the table. So it was a good, it was a good thing. And who needs a coffee table? I need a yoga table much more than I need a coffee table. So. Yeah, putting stuff on it that collects dust. <laughs> um, let me ask you, the surface of the table is wood or, or um, or do you have any cushion on it? Would it does it help to put a blank, you know, a some kind of so you're not, I don't know if it's if the wood is too hard on your on your glutes. Or are you okay with that? Oh, it still looks like you put a rubber mat on top of it. Yeah, it, it looks like Jules, I don't know if you are speaking, but you are muted. Well, that's Sorry about that. Yes, it's a it's a table with um, it's a big mahogany table with a purple, my lovely color purple. I like yours, Kimani, and all your beautiful colors. <laughs> You're so bright. So and then it also has I've got my weights over there and my bands and my cords and all that stuff. So. This is now the, the place for my, it's my exercise room. <laughs> it, it's just, you are lucky to have a dedicated area for your um, exercise, a yoga space that you can leave all of your props um, in one place and um, know that it's there. It's sort of, sometimes it's a reminder to have those things all together, a visual. Amen, yes. <laughs> That, um, say okay time for yoga time for a little meditation time for stopping my regular activities of the day and taking a break so good well good morning everybody we'll get started shortly
Make sure you're in a comfortable chair or table and got a little bit of cushion as you need it. I'm, I have my blanket folded on the back side of my chair. It gives me um, something to lean in when we open up our chest. Um, so that also gave me some information about Jules who is sitting on a table without a back. So when we lean back without having something to lean into, that could be challenging or not maybe the right position to use today. So um, that's, that's helpful. <clears throat> All right. So it's sunny and cold here in Connecticut. And uh, it definitely is, We've, we had a very warm week last week. It was the residual from the hurricane weather morning. Um, so we got that sort of balmy humidity air, which was unusual for New England to be in the 60s in mid-November. So here we are, November 14th, and it now is back into, we've got the high 30s and low 40s. But a, bright sunny day. So I hope it's sunny where you all are. And um, either mute yourself or Kamani will, I think, has control over the um, audio and we'll get started. So good morning once again. Find yourself seated in your chair or bench and feel your feet into the floor in front of you or if you happen to have a yoga mat or something that's nice and grippy, not too, you know, uh, you, you want to have something a little more firm than a, um, a thick rug. So wiggle toes as you settle in. And then just gently rock side to side. And see if you can find the center of your body, the center of your gravity, um, the equilibrium so that you're equally weighted, if possible, on each side. Let's close our eyes and focus in on our breath. Just start with the hands, palm facing down on top of the thighs, and just soften the arms, let them re relax. Inhale and exhale, long and slow. Take that inhale through the nostrils, lift the chest, exhale long and slow out through the mouth, letting it go. Notice the space you're in. What does it feel like? What's the temperature? Is it comfortable? And what do you hear in the space you're in? And maybe in your mind's eye, bring yourself to a peaceful place place that brings peace and ease, a place that where you can block out what came before yoga and what you need to do later. Let's move our hands, one to the heart and one to the low belly, sitting a little taller, continuing with the breath, no place to go. This is your time. Inhale and exhale. See if you can let the lower jaw relax a little. Continuing just the breath, feeling their beating heart, feeling how your center of the body takes in that breath. Lifting the chest, pulling shoulders back gently. Exhale long and slow out through the mouth. Ah, let it go. And let's move our hands off our heart and belly. And let's bring fingertips right to the collarbones. And we'll go, you can open your eyes at this point. Just go into some gentle tapping. Let's create a, a positive vibrational sensation right at the center of the collarbones, the center of the chest, gently tapping, stimulating the thyroid. Inhale and exhale. And tapping right along the collarbones, the sternum, maybe you're humming in your room, and then letting the fingertips gently make their way up the neck, stretching the jaw wide open. Ah. 
smiling. I think last week we talked about smiling, whether you feel it or you force it, the brain doesn't know the difference. So the more you can smile, the better it is for our brains and creating a positive sense of ourselves and our day. Fingertips continuing moving up the side of the face, all the way along the forehead. Continue with that gentle tapping. Just takes you away from what you were doing earlier. And just staying right in this moment, letting the fingertips come all the way back down the side of the face, the chin, the neck back to the thyroid area, right around the vo where the vocal cords are creating that vibrational sound. And let's release those hands. All right. How do you feel? Notice how you feel a little tingly, a little lighter, less intense in the jawline. All right. Let's go into blossom hands. So we're going to just turn the hands, palms are facing up. Inhale, stretch those fingers wide apart. Exhale, fingers curl in. Inhale, opening. And exhale, curling in. Inhale, stretch and smile. Exhale, fingers curl in. A couple more. Stretch wide. Exhale, curl in. Last one. And release. Bring the hands back down to the lap. Take a moment here just once again to wiggle into your seat of the chair, feeling really comfortable, strong and sturdy, and maybe move a bit more forward so your feet are really pressing gently, not, not hard, but firmly so you feel from the toes to the heels anchored into the floor in front of you. Let the heel of the hands press into the top of the thighs and see if you can lift the waist out a little taller, inhale and exhale. Collarbones are wide, pull shoulders back. Inhale and exhale. Let's open our eyes wide open, stretching, maybe even slightly wrinkling the forehead as you do that. Blink, look straight ahead. And now look up, keeping the head level, but let the eye gaze go up towards your ceiling. Stretching and looking wide up and then come back to center. And then let the eyes go all the way over to your left side, back to center, over to the right. Then back up to the ceiling, stretching eyes wide open. Back to center, over to your left, center, and then over to your right. And blink, 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 all right. Next, let's work on our next stretches. Interlace the fingers behind the head, cupping the head gently. Elbows are pointing out to the side. Inhale, press the head into the hands and the hands into the head. Exhale, tip the chin down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, just tipping the chin, keeping the torso upright. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one here, press the head in, pull those elbows back, chest is open and exhale. If you feel comfortable to do this, we're gonna keep on pressing our head into the hands and hands into the head. We'll look up and tip the chin up towards the ceiling. Only do this if you feel comfortable and that goes for any posture, of course. Inhale and exhale. By doing this, we're arching our back uh, slightly. Inhale and exhale. Come back into neutral spine. Release the arms down. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale. And now we'll go into our side neck stretches. So options here for where to hold on to feel steady and secure, either holding the seat of your chair or hands firmly on the, on the bench or the 
front of the chair or the legs. Sitting tall, inhale, exhale, tip the head over to your left side. Inhale, center, exhale, over to the left. Excuse me, your right. Inhale, tall, exhale, slow, steady. Back to center, inhale, exhale to your right. Couple more, inhale, tall, exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, right. I'm gonna do one more to each side. This time we'll hold a little longer. Inhale, exhale, tipping your head over to the left side, holding if it feels okay. Inhale, exhale, stretch both arms away. Open the mouth wide, ah. Get that extra stretch. Inhale, come back to center and go over to your right side, holding it a slight bit longer and pulling those arms long and away. Get that lovely side neck stretch. And then take your time to come back to center. Inhale and exhale. We're going to go into shoulder rolls. Fingertips onto the shoulders. Elbows come forward, that's your inhale. Exhale, they go wide to the side and down. Inhale, forward to the side, down. Your breath with the movement. Gaze straight ahead, eyes wide open. And one more. And release. And let's those arms shake out all the way. And let's wiggle fingers, circle wrists. We're gonna go in the opposite direction in shoulder rolls, but in between, let's just give our wrists a little bit of work and loosening all that up. All right, fingertips back to the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. This time our elbow points go down, they go out to the side and they come forward. Inhale and exhale. So we're just rotating in the opposite direction. Inhale, go back out to the side, then forward. Slow and steady. I see a few new names, so welcome. Anytime you feel like showing yourselves, I'd be happy to see you, but if you wanna stay behind with us with no video that's fine too and release and if you're new to yoga if you're new to this session we do what feels good for our body thinking the positives think not what we don't have but what we can do for ourselves so the more you're able to move and keep the blood flowing and the synovial fluids and our joints moving the better and stronger you will feel all right so now we're going to go into the rotations of the spine. And again, if you're new to yoga, or new to this session, I talk you through everything and um, it should be um, approachable for you all. So here we go. We're gonna sit as tall as we can, really feeling those feet anchored into the floor in front of you. And we're gonna come forward for our cow and cat. And the fold forward is at the hip flexor, not at the waist. So sitting tall, inhale, come forward. Again, you can keep your hands on top of the knees, use the chair seat, table seat, whatever you have as you come forward. Exhale, tip the chin round the back, walk slightly back into your chair, and then pulling yourself tall. This is inhale for cow, the yoga pose. Exhale, tip the chin round back into cat. Inhale tall, and we come forward. Exhale, tip chin, round up back. Couple more, inhale. And exhale as we come forward, tip chin, and sitting tall. All right, so we have five rotations of the spine, forward, back, side, side, and twists. And that takes care of keeping our spine as healthy as we can. All right, let's do our side bends. Inhale, the arms come up overhead. And then exhale, bend over to your left side. Inhale, come through center. And then exhale to your right. 
your count, slow, steady. And if it feels good to hold one side a little longer, your choice, your yoga. Inhale, sit tall in between if you can. And maybe one more to each side. And release the hands down. All right, take a break here before we go into our twist. And just adjust your posture as you're sitting as strong as you can in your chair. Inhale and exhale, hands to the waist. And as you do that, the thumb and the index fingers are pressing gently in. Lift the rib, rib cage as you can. Just feel that nice long length of the torso. After that, release the hands back down, pull shoulders back. Just take a breath or two here before we go into our twist. If you can, start to engage core muscles by visualizing your belly button pushing in towards the back. You're starting to increase the strength of your core, which is good for the back and also good for all having a up, nice upper body strength to do all the things you do. Here we go into our twist. Inhale, the arms come up overhead and then exhale, twisting to your left. Inhale, eyes wide open as you twist over to your right side. Inhale and exhale, slow and steady. I'm gonna do two or three more, but if this is as much as you wanna to do today, that's fine. You can release your arms down, return anytime something is too much, just back to comfortable seat and focus on your breath. Stretching. And twisting and meeting back in center, release those arms down. Inhale and exhale, spreading your wings, spreading those arms nice and wide, the palms are stretching out, lift the chest. We're going to come into a hug of ourselves. Inhale, exhale, let the left arm go underneath the right. Well, it doesn't matter, I didn't, <laughs> we're gonna do both sides. So the arms crisscross in front of you, and let those fingers go where they will to the side body or maybe all the way to the back. Just squeeze yourself gently. Inhale again, another opportunity to smile and be good to yourself and appreciate what you are able to do. The strength of your mind and your spirit and the strength of your body. Inhale and exhale. Let's open up, stretching those Arms side to side, chest is lifted. Opposite arm will go on top. Inhale and exhale. And then just hug. This is the self-care. And maybe in this hug, let's just do a little tapping on our back. Again, there's another way to get a little bit of vibrational sensation going. And release. All right, shake out the arms. I'm gonna do a few more arm movements before we get to uh, adding in legs. We're gonna go into the eagle arms. So again, we stretch our arms wide open in the starting position. Remember, we're gonna put the left arm underneath the right. So they're crisscross, this is, these are eagle arms. Similar to hugging, they cross, but instead of hugging ourselves, we're letting the elbow intersection happen and the forearms are lifted. Maybe the fingers touch, maybe they don't. We're gonna lift those elbows as high as we can, pulling them out, feeling that opening in the back. Inhale and exhale. We'll lift the elbows up a little higher as you can. Maybe looking up at your fingers, breathing. And here we're gonna add a little bit of core work, option to do this or not. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, round the back, let those elbow points in towards the belly button. Inhale, we lift, slight arch to the back. Exhale, round. Inhale, up, lift. Exhale, round in. One more. 
and exhale round. Bring yourself back up to center, unwind those arms. Let's breathe, take a breath. Good time to take a sip of water. Or whatever you have. Hydration is important. It's good for all the cells of the body and uh, just good health. All right, here we go. Stretching out our arms again. We're going to the other side. So last time we had the left underneath the right, we're going to the opposite, right underneath the left. Crisscross the arms. And if you're on the opposite side of me, it doesn't matter. As long as you've done both sides, you'll know that you're on the opposite side because one side is a little more forgiving or looser than the other to crisscross. So lifting those elbows, sitting as tall as you can, lift and then pull the elbows away. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna curl in. in. Inhale, everything okay? Exhale, curl in. Inhale, a couple more. Or if you've got, if you've had enough, fine, fine, fine. Inhale. You know how you felt when you woke up this morning, how much you're able to do, where you want to back off. And that old adage, less is more. And finishing up and unwind. Woo! Let those arms float back down. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're gonna interlace the fingers and stretch those arms out in front of us. Arms are parallel to the floor. Just stretch out, so interlace. Inhale and exhale. From here, we're going to turn the palms away, flexing, opening up the palms, and just feel this lovely stretch. Inhale, if the straight arms is too much, bend the elbows a little bit. Let release that stretch if you need to. Any stretch is good, as long as you feel safe. Inhale and exhale. We're going to lift our arms up. Look at your fingers as those arms go up. Stretch those arms long. Inhale and exhale, then start letting those fingers unlace and float the arms down. All right, let's go into a few simple sun salutations, which incorporate some of the pieces of our arm movements that we've already done. I will guide you, here we go. Inhale, looking up and the arms come up. Looking up at the fingertips as they reach towards the ceiling. Exhale, let the arms float down. Slight fold at the hip flexor, bringing the hands back together in front. Thumbs pressing into the sternum, tip the head down. Inhale and exhale, simple sun salutation, just like a morning stretch. Inhale, lift the arms up, fingertips touch at the top. Exhale, the arms float away, tip the head down, hands come back to heart center, thumbs pressing in towards your sternum. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more of those. And maybe you add the smile this time. Inhale, celebrate the sun and the positive energy. Exhale, let the arms float down, slight fold. Hands come together at heart center. Thumbs press towards the sternum and lift your chest. Inhale and exhale and release. All right, uh, last, um, well, uh, last movement of just arms alone and that's the teapot series or cactus arm series. Here we go. We start with a cactus arm shape. Forearms, our upper arm is parallel with the mat and the upper, uh, the forearms are uh, perpendicular. Here we go. Inhale apart, exhale, the arms come together. Inhale, open, sitting tall, exhale apart. Inhale, open, exhale apart. Inhale, open, exhale come together and release the arms down. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna do two more poses with arms up. So it's always good to take a break in between. 
inhale and exhale. So we're really building some nice strength in our upper arm and shoulder and having that upper body strength will really help as you move, lift yourself out of a chair or do whatever you need to do for personal uh, care. Upper body strength is really, really important. Here we go. Second one, we're going to do the crisscross. Coming back into those cactus arms, inhale apart, exhale, bring your right arm to the left, inhale, open, exhale to the right, open, exhale, inhale, open, exhale, twist, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and let's do one more to each side and release the arms down. Hands back to the top of the thighs. Inhale, exhale. Breath is so important. Let it flow. Try to use your breath to release any stress that you have. All right, last one of the teapot series. series. And here we go. Arms back up into cactus. Inhale, exhale, tip to the left. Inhale, tall, exhale, tip to the right. Inhale, tall, exhale, inhale, tall, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, last one to the left. Inhale, tall, last one to the right. And arms come down. Inhale and exhale. Let's cross the arms in front of us and just take a breath, letting those arms come in and maybe let the fingertips just massage the deltoid, that upper arm area. We just used it a lot. Inhale and exhale, creating some heat there. All right, release. Now we're going to go down to our feet and do a little work there. So we're just going to, again, make sure you are centered in your chair and you feel nice, strong connection with the floor in front of you. And just gently tap or march in place. Lifting one leg, then the other. Doesn't have to be high. Just starting to warm up the lower half of our body. And let's come to stillness. So did you notice what you used? Used your quad muscles to lift and your core. So now we're going to add arms to this movement and we'll do the same side and then we'll do crisscross. So the first one will look like this. Your left arm is stretched up high and then on the exhale, the elbow and knee come together, All right? So stretching that left arm way up, inhale, exhale, knee and elbow meet. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, knee and elbow meet. So you can either stick with the breath, exhale out through the mouth or do all nostril breathing, whatever feels the most comfortable for you. We'll do two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale away, exhale, curl in. And release that down, all right. Inhale and exhale, other side, stretching your right arm straight up. Inhale, exhale, knee and elbow meet. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Couple more, inhale and exhale. Just adjusting my, get that so you can see my arms. Okay, all right. Release out of that. Now we're going to do the crisscross. So it's the left arm straight up, and then we're gonna lift the right knee. Sit tall to start, inhale. Exhale, opposite elbow and knee meet. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale tall, exhale knee and elbow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, last one. And release the arms down. Heart rate up. 
All right, here we go. Other side. Your right arm is up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Right arm, left knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Woo! All right. What's next? Okay, let's go into our seated warrior pose. So we're gonna sit back a bit more in the chair, not all the way, but a bit more. We're going to turn the left leg out to the side. So we're changing the, the way we were. We were sitting parallel legs pointing forward. Now you're gonna turn your left leg. So just swivel a bit, be careful on the table. Hope you have room to do this. And just turn, maybe slightly lift, your glutes up a bit so you can twist sideways into your chair. And then with your right leg, you're gonna let that leg step back a bit more and let the side of the foot come down. So the inside edge of the foot is on your floor or mat. Then we're going to turn at the waist to face forward, back to your the forward side of the chair, and then the arms come up. Inhale and exhale. So this is a holding pose but we're not holding the breath. Warrior two, inhale and exhale. See if you can keep the core engaged as you lift your chest. Inhale and exhale. Release the arms down. Let that uh, left forearm press gently on the left leg and we'll extend the right arm up and we'll lean in and over. So this is our extended side angle. Inhale, come back through warrior two, and then let the right arm slide down the right leg, lifting the left arm straight up. Back to warrior, to extended side angle. Back to warrior, reverse. Do one more maybe, sitting tall, core engaged. Extended side angle. This, when you're doing this, see if it feels good to stretch that top arm out, maybe straight up or over your head. Side body stretch there. Come through warrior two and then to reverse. Let the right arm slide down the right leg. That left arm is stretching up. It can be straight or maybe even letting it curve over the head. And return to warrior. Let the arms float down. Inhale and exhale. A couple shoulder rolls. We're going to do that on the opposite side. How do we get there? We're going to just swivel in the chair or our bench, turning to the opposite side. Now your right foot is pointing away to the side and your left foot is on its edge, the inside edge of the foot. And you can adjust the width of this position. It doesn't have to be a straight leg. If you're feeling better to have a slight bent knee, that's fine. What we're doing is we're just adjusting the position of the legs so they're in the same plane, sitting tall, the arms are extended out. Warrior two on this side, inhale and exhale. Let's go into that extended side angle. The right arm is pressing gently into the right quad thigh muscle, and the top arm stretches overhead. Inhale back to your warrior, and then to reverse. Couple more, or if you've had enough, Feel free to return back to our original seated position. And back to warrior, and here we go, bringing the legs back together. All right, let's go back to that tapping. And actually, instead of marching, we're tapping our feet, getting a little bit of a vibrational sound and sensation in our toes. And then come to stillness. Let's sit back all the way in the chair. 
Now be careful if your chair doesn't have a back or if you're sitting on a table without a back. <clears throat> Make sure you <clears throat> have a good grip of something to support you. We're going to uh, extend one leg and then the other. Sitting tall, scoop the belly, extend your left leg out and point and flex. Couple more. And now circle that foot, the ankle. Stretching toes. And reversing those circles. And we let that foot come down. Let's go to the other side. Extending your right leg out, point and flex at the ankle. Get some range of motion. <sighs> Breathing, sitting tall. And we circle. Circle the ankle in one direction. And we reverse those circles. And we let that foot come down. Let's return to a little bit of tapping. Inhale and exhale. All right, let's do a wide angle sitting position. Let's go a little wider to the edges of the chair. Be mindful if you're on a bench where you might not have edges, but just sit uh, comfortably wide angle legs. And we're going to use the heel of our hands into the quad muscles, pulling ourselves tall. We're gonna go into a wide angle forward fold. So again, use the props you have. And certainly the seat you're on is a great place to place your hands for support. First, let's sit as tall as we can, scoop the belly in, inhale and exhale, and come forward with a flat back. And we're breathing. And once you've arrived to where it feels good for you in that flat back, let maybe the forearms are pressing gently into the thighs or you're holding your chair. Inhale and exhale. When you're ready, if this feels good, let the hands slide down your legs, tipping the head down and the back slightly rounds. Inhale and exhale. Take your time. We're going to walk our hands back up the legs to the knees. Let the heel of the hands press into the quads, keeping the chin slightly tucked as you bring yourself back all the way to seated tall. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do one more forward fold like that. Take your time, breathing, eyes wide open, helps with any kind of dizziness. Inhale, sitting tall. Exhale, fold at the hip, flexor, flat back to start. Inhale and exhale. Once you come to the point of flat that you can't go any further, tip the chin down, let the hands slide down the legs, rounding the back, coming into your forward fold. Inhale and exhale. Take your time to bring yourself back up to seated. And arrive. Let's bring our legs together. And we will go into seated. Um, what's well, the standing pose is called awkward chair. We're gonna do it from the chair. And this is just, again, another way to sit a little taller, slight arch in the back, We'll bring our hands to heart center and we'll add a little bit of a twist into this. 
So come, make sure you're comfortably seated, but this time we're coming a little more forward. Heel of the hands into the quads, press them gently, lift the chest. So as you do that, think about the heart lifting and going out, gazes up towards the ceiling. Just go to that point where you feel slight arch in your back. Inhale and exhale, bringing those hands to heart center. Let the thumbs press in towards the sternum. See if you can guide the chest up a little higher. Inhale and exhale. I'm turning sideways so you can sort of see what I'm doing. Inhale and exhale. All right. So from this position, we're going to add a twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twisting to your right. So the left elbow point goes to the right leg. Inhale, center. Exhale and twist. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, release those arms down. Inhale and exhale. All right, let's take a break by sitting back in the chair. We'll go into our figure four stretch and a little massage. So we're gonna cross the right leg over the left. Be mindful of that ankle bone. You don't want it pressing into the quad. So either let the leg slide out a bit more or maybe use a towel or a blanket to support yourself here. All right, so with that crossed leg, just take a breath or two here. Notice where you're feeling your stretch even without any leaning in yet. The top foot is flexed. The lower leg onto the floor is pressing firmly in. You're sitting as tall as you can. Inhale and exhale. The forearm is going to rest on the lower leg, looking straight ahead. Inhale and exhale, we're going to come forward. Notice where the stretch and the stretch, uh, where you're feeling the stretch. Back it off if it's too much. So you only have to be where you feel the stretch, not, not what I'm doing. Keeping that foot flexed. Inhale and exhale and coming forward. And then soften. The way to soften is to tip the head. Let the chin touch down towards the sternum and let the upper body fold forward. Inhale and exhale. One more breath and we pull ourselves tall, keeping that uh, uh, right leg crossed over. The foot is flexed. Now let's take a moment or two to massage that right foot, letting the thumb stroke the foot from the heel into the arch of the foot, fingertips on the top side of the foot, and then just working those thumbs up to the ball of the foot and wiggling those toes. See if you can give each toe a little bit of warmth and stimulation by your fingers, getting some blood circulating the lowest part of our body. Maybe just a gentle squeeze. And then same thing, you can use your, you can create a little friction by letting those hands rub into the foot. Again, if you clap into the foot, you create a little bit of vibration. And now with care, let's lift that leg off and place it down. And let's go to the opposite side. Take your time to lift the leg up, wiggling into your chair, making sure you feel um, secure. Inhale and exhale, and again, feeling where you, Notice where the stretch is. One side is probably a little tighter than the other. Forearm presses into lower leg gently and then leaning in. Inhale and exhale. And if it feels good, tipping the chin down and rounding in towards your figure four. Inhale and exhale. and bringing yourself back up to tall. And let's give this foot a little love too. Thumbs into the foot, massage, 
as it feels good around the ankle, the heel of the foot into the arch, stroking into the arch and all the way up into the ball of the foot area. And then give each and every toe a little bit of warmth and massage. And release and gently bring that leg down. All right, let us go back to some upper body work. So stretching those arms nice and wide. Inhale and exhale, looking up, stretching those arms up overhead, fingertips come together. Let's interlace the fingers and then just stretch once again, all the way up. Let those shoulders go up and then drop shoulders down. We're gonna add a little bit more arching of our back, be mindful. So if you need to come more forward in your chair, just make sure your hips and glutes are anchored in as you look up and bend back. A little more stretch in that back. Inhale and exhale and releasing the arms down. Stretching. Good. Let's do another crisscross with the arms. Again, another wonderful chest opener. So inhale, we're gonna let the left arm go underneath the right crisscross and then just stretch and release the arms down. Same side, two more. Inhale, left arm underneath the right, crisscross, release the arms. Ah, stretch, say ah. I hope you've got a sunny day where you are. Inhale, last one and release, stretching away. All right, opposite side, right arm underneath the left, lifting the arms, stretch, inhale, and stretch. Last one. And stretch. All right, let's go back to doing a little bit of leg work. If you happen to have a block or a paper towel roll, you can add this in to this posture. If you don't, it can be done without a prop. So I'm gonna show you with a paper towel roll. Some of you have, have done this before, doing a little adduction work. So we're gonna be bringing our, we're squeezing whatever we have in between. Whether you have a yoga block, paper towel roll, or if you don't have any prop. Here's what you can do if you don't have a prop. Place your hands on the back side of the hand inside the legs, and you're going to be putting a little bit of pressure. The legs are parallel, feet are flat on the floor. You're sitting tall. Inhale, press in to the hands with the legs, and exhale, soften. Inhale and exhale. Back and forth. This is adduction. And release. All right. We did alternating legs lift. We're going to finish up with one more strength move, and that is lifting both legs together. After this move, we will come into more quiet and um, setting up for relaxation. So <clears throat> what you're going to need to do, maybe hold on to the side of the chair or the legs of your chair, sit tall, engage the core. You're gonna lift both feet together. They don't have to come high off the floor, just a little lift. This is not only good for the strength leg, but you're engaging the lower part of the core muscles, the abdominal, the lowest part of the abdominal, sitting tall. Inhale and exhale, lift the legs. Inhale, exhale, the legs lift. My or legs or feet are just slightly off your mat. Couple more. 
and release and soften. And then once again, shake out the legs. All right, sitting back in your chair, wiggle into the seat, looking up and be mindful. I know some of you don't have a back of your chair, you're just sitting on a tabletop. Be careful if it feels safe that you can grab onto something, just lean back and create one more arch of the back. Chin is lifted, gaze is up at the ceiling. Inhale and exhale. And then come back to seeing tall. All right, let's start unwinding and doing some of our self-care moves. Let's stretch those arms out wide. Inhale, lifting the chest. Bring your left hand over to the right arm and then just stroke inward. Inhale and exhale as you stroke, letting the fingertips just glide along the right arm. Inhale, softening, slowing down, cooling down, heart rate slows. And one more on this side. And we release, take a breath. Inhale and exhale, back to the arms wide open. We go to the other side. Fingertips reach for the left, right fingertips reach for the left and then gently stroke. Ah, say ah, put a smile, take care of yourself. And one more. And release. Hands back to top of the legs. Closing your eyes. Let's start to soften in and really do a body scan. And usually we do from head to toe. I think today we'll think about our toes first. So once again, feel yourself as comfortably as you can. Now we're going to start to release and I'm not going to say Engage your core. Now we're going to let our belly soften. Sitting, leaning back if you're comfortable in your chair. Wiggle your toes. Inhale and exhale. Maybe let the legs stretch out in front of you a bit. Let them soften. Gently just tapping. And then let the legs settle in. Feel the lower legs soften. If you were feeling tight in the calves, just let those muscles relax. Let the quads and the hamstrings settle in even more than before. The glutes and the belly and the hips wiggle into your chair. If you have a back of the chair that you can lean into, do that. If you're on a bench without a back, We'll sit comfortably without pushing back too far. Let the chest relax, softening the shoulders, softening the facial muscles, stretch the mouth open to relax that lower jaw. And once again, focusing in on your breath. Inhale, exhale. Let's do some nice long breathing technique here. So we're going to do a count of five for the inhale. Hold the breath at the top. Exhale out through the mouth. Here we go. Inhale to your count of five. Keep it as slow as you can do it. Maybe hold for five and then exhale out through the mouth for five or more. Inhale, your count, your hold, your exhale. Staying in the moment. If you feel safe to do so, close your eyes as you're doing this breathing exercise. 
picture yourself in a peaceful place, a place that brings peace and ease in your mind's eye. Picking up the joyful sensations of that place. Pleasant smells, the pleasant sounds, the pleasant things to touch and to taste. And now if it's all, if everyone's safe to close eyes, place one hand on the heart and one on the low belly. Returning to your comfortable breath pattern. Keeping the body soft in the chair. And when you're ready, opening your eyes, and we'll finish with a poem. And this is another poem by Dana Folds. This one is called Being Home. Most of her poems are related to yoga. This one is Being Home. Where can I soften in this posture? Where is the edge between opening and force? The line between stretch and too much effort. The mind and body serve up a feast of feelings, each breath another chance to deepen and release. The smallest motion or even just a quiet sigh could be all that I require to shift my focus from the outer to the inner realm, a change from feeling lost to being home. Continue to sit comfortably, continue with your breath, bring your hands to heart center if that feels comfortable, thumbs pressing towards your sternum. Take a breath in and out, tipping your head down towards your fingertips. Inhale and exhale, appreciate what you can do for yourself, appreciate your strength, your flexibility and your balance and all that yoga can offer you. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. Namaste.